When I last time I tried to take this print off the build plate, I hacked away at it and all that. So let's see what this does and let's see how well this wham bam uh, sheet works. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this, okay? Hey guys. In this world of 3D printing, we hope for advancements that will make things easier for us when printing. Resin printing is gaining popularity and lots of 3D printing enthusiasts are now, now have an FDM printer and a resin printer. Resin printer gives you a level of detail that FDM just dreams of and will never match. With figurines being printed uh, being the best example of this. I printed this little companion cube for my son uh, for his, his desktop computer and uh, the keyboard and I would not be able to get the level of detail out of an FDM with lots of small details being lost. But one of the biggest hassles with resin is that it's very difficult to remove the print after printing. Resin prints stick really well to the build plate and can cause items you're printing to break when you try to remove them from the build plate such as this keyboard spacebar. This, key, this spacebar keycap was uh, was was I was really struggling to get it off and unfortunately it broke. And the very first print I did out of this resin printer was this Eiffel Tower, where you can see that one of the legs is broken off while I was trying to remove it. So one of the solutions that have come up is where this is where Wham Bam steps in. They create a great flex plate system that makes it a lot easier to remove the print from the build plate with a suite of fantastic accessories and adhesion aids that makes 3D printing much easier, faster, and more enjoyable. Let's go check out their website. So if we go into the Wham Bam website, you'll see that they offer a lot of solutions for 3D printing, and they've got some great new products. So flexible build plates is one of their, their biggest systems that they created. Uh, the founder of Wham Bam, he used to do a lot of tinkering and he found a lot of the things that he made were actually very, very useful for other people. So he created this Wham Bam website and this little business. We try to do weekly tips, tutorials and reviews on this channel. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and click that notification icon to get the latest videos and also give us a like if you like this video. So I got, I went out to DIY Electronics and I approached them about the Wham Bam build plate and they supplied me uh, this Wham Bam build plate with a discounted price uh, to help the channel and to build the channel. So thank you guys at DIY Electronics. So this Wham Bam flex plate that they gave me, if you go, we go look at their website, you'll see that on their website they have a lot of the new Wham Bam uh, flex plates and stuff like that. So they've obviously geared up towards us and they're trying to service the local market. So go check out their website. And if you go look at the Wham Bam that I bought, it's the one that fits the Creality LD002R because that's the resin printer I have. Their prices are good. Uh, they're really a reliable supplier. Go check out their website. Go check that and go support them, if you find, especially if you're from South Africa. So let's talk about the Wham Bam system here. Now, before I continue, my goal with this video was to fit it to the LD002R and show you how I fitted it. But I recorded the entire video and I found out that I had not enabled my audio. So my audio was from the camera and not from my other system, which gives me a lot better audio. So I had to re-record this whole video. And in that previous video with the bad audio, I showed you how I put that build plate on. So now I'm going to show you that section, that snippet of the of the video. Um, but before I do that, in the box comes your, you've got a, a bunch, a little envelope here, and you've got a little plastic sheet. Inside the plastic sheet is your instructions, um, a little notice about wham bam, a sheet of sandpaper to scuff up your build plate before you put it on, and two stickers, one saying wham bam, thank you, ma'am, as a lady. And one bam, wham bam, thank you, man. So good fun, nice fun stickers there. Uh, it comes in this little envelope that is well protected. And I got the system that has two build plates. So that one build plate is already in the printer printing away. And um, I'm now going to cut over to that section of the video where I showed how I put the, the build plate on. 
I apologize for the poor audio again. So go check this out. And then in a nice envelope here, you get the Wham Bam system. Now, it comes with two plates that are included in here. So you get two plates, and then you get the magnetic Wham Bam with their logo nicely etched on the magnet here. And uh, let's start filling this. Now, guys, I haven't tested this. I have not tried this. I wanted a way to do this video to give this a try so you can see my actual reaction of this coming off. And if it is what it promised, no more hacking at the bull plate. If you look here, I've got some serious scratch marks on my bull plate. No more hacking on the bill plate to get uh, parts off and really struggling. So that's what I'm hoping for. So what is suggested is the first thing you do is you put your plate magnet down and you just put the, the plate on top of it and make sure everything lines up and it's the right size. And in this case it is. So I've thoroughly cleaned off this bill plate. I've re degreased it. I've taken off all the resin and thoroughly washed it. Um, and then taken a little bit of isopropyl alcohol do quite right now not the best thing to do in a closed in space but I'm just going to give it one last because I have touched it quite a bit I'm just going to give it a puff of, of the alcohol there the isopropyl and that's it wipe it down now you don't want to touch and get any fingerprints and grease on there because that will cause the uh, the glue to lose adhesion so. a few minutes later well that was not easy to take off but anyway uh, there's no pull tab or anything. Eventually I got that off. So I've cut all of that video out because I don't want you to see me struggling like crazy to try to get that off. It would be nice if there was a little test step on, the, on here that you could then easily pull it off or a perforated part. But anyway, that's fine. Now I'm just going to line this up. And I've got one try to get this right. Right, so one chance to get that right, because I would not want to peel this off again, but that is looking gorgeous. Okay, so that is back on. I'm just going to give it a bit of a, a press down, and that's it. So now we've got the, the, um, the Wham Bam on there. Now, obviously, with this Wham Bam sheet being on here, let's plonk one of these on here. Right. To learn properly nicely there we go uh, what I do suggest well not do suggest you'll have to and I have to re-level the bed because with the um, the wham bam in here it's raised the level from where you had it before so you're going to have to loosen these screws and re-level the bed I'm gonna do a test print and by the magic of um, of the internet you will see it when it's done okay so see you back soon Okay, there we have it. The print is off and it's done. It's finished. Now comes the big thing of removing it from the bill plate. So firstly, let's just try to get the, the mag plate off nicely. There we go. Okay, so there it is. There's our print. Now, this print took a little bit longer than I expected because my first print actually failed. Uh, I do know why though, because I did not clean the Wham Bam sheet at all. Uh, from taking it out of the packaging, I just put it straight on with my greasy fingers, stuck it down and started printing and the print came loose. So I cleaned out the printer, cleaned out the resin vat the, 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 and um, yeah, then I started a new print and there we go. Now, when I last time I tried to take this print off the bill plate, I hacked away at it and all that. So let's see what this does and let's see how well this Wham Bam uh, sheet works. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this again? Okay? Let's check this out. Oh, 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 that's beautiful. That is absolutely what, oh my goodness, that's actually easier than I thought. A slight flex, flex and it just pops off and whoops, very slippery. Look at this print. This print is absolutely gorgeous. So there we go, guys. There you have it. The wham, bam. Uh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> build system, build plate system that is now on my Creality LD002R. I am so happy, actually, because this makes my life a lot easier. I've always really worried about taking prints off the build plate, and it was always such a mission. This just simply popped off a slight bend of the plate, and it popped off. So, guys, this really is worthwhile. Uh, it's uh, it's great value for money. I think this this adds so much value to the printer that you actually can't believe. Um, so this makes the the resin printing 
so much better and so much easier. So this is my honest opinion on this, and I'm going to stick by it. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, these videos on your screen, you can see now, contain more information about the LDR002 uh, printer. Sorry, the LD002R LD002 printer. Um, click to click and watch those videos now, and I'll see you there now. Thanks for watching.